today I'm going to be showing off my custom modded Xbox 360. This is the DVD drive that's supposed to be in here. This is just a decoy. Push the button, it opens and closes. I got another one of these cables from another system and soldered the wires together to make them longer. And this is just a slightly longer SATA cable. I used my Dremel to cut a hole in here and it's not screaming. What you hear is fans for my TV that I put on there and the power supply over there. That's screaming. This is actually pretty quiet. What I did was I replaced the thin heat sink, which is right here. DVD drive sits on top of this, and this goes right here inside your console. This is my 12 volt fan modded one that I use all the time. It sounds like an airplane, but it keeps it cool. I wanted ones that wanted one that looks stock, and wanted one that was heavily modded, but still looks good. This is the fan shroud I modified. Good old cardboard and duct tape. Duct tape helps with vibrations. But that Xbox over there has two of these heat sinks. They have the same pattern as you can see. So I have one there and there on that system. And I made a fan shroud out of a cornflakes box <laughs> and duct tape. It works really well. The temps read around 110 degrees, which is your average CPU graphics card, uh, PC graphics card, sorry. And before, you know, it was like 180 degrees. I got a thermal gun. I did have this at the 12 volt fan mod, but I got tired of it screaming. So I tried, you know, the stock fan speed, and it moves enough air. It's, it's, you know, it's moving the curtain there ever so slightly. So it's moving enough air to keep it cool, yet quiet, since it's not being choked by the uh, small heat sink right here. It's got two of the big heat sinks, so it's got plenty of airflow, even with the slow fan speed. But uh, I'm changing out the thermal compound on this one. And once I get that one back together, I'll take this one apart and show off its guts. So, I was wrong about it being a cornflakes box. It's Cheerios. But this is the fan shroud that I made. This is half of another DVD drive that I just used to fill the spot and have the screw guides. And it's just, I just cut it in half with a sawzall. <laughs> but there's two of those heat sinks right there. This just sets in here. I made a little divider so each fan controls. This fan cools this one and that fan cools that one. It works really well. And I it took me a while, but I soldered all of these together and used heat shrink shrink wrap so there's no shorting sorry the picture isn't the greatest come on I had to make I had to make this wire longer and this is a longer SATA cable that just plugs in right there yeah this is my custom modded Xbox 360
that don't get used much. I mainly use that one. I've been thinking about doing this mod to that one, but I'd like to keep one that at least looks stock. And one that is, well, not. <laughs> but this thing works great. It's quiet, and with this much larger heat sink right here, it moves more than enough air with the stock fan speeds to keep it cool.